Well, in the wake of our state's first two cases of COVID-19 virus, medical professionals are advising those most at risk to take extra precaution. Fox 17's Michael Martin spoke with an infectious disease doctor today to find out who's the most vulnerable right now and what we can do to protect our health. Michael? Yeah, Janice Derrick, while we still haven't seen a confirmed case here in West Michigan, hospitals are preparing for a worst case scenario and telling those who are most vulnerable to guard their health and address any unrelated, unrelated medical concerns that they might have now before hospitals are busy dealing with those infected. I would say it's always a good idea to stay on top of your medical care. And that's truer now than ever. According to infectious disease doctor Julie Ketty at Spectrum Health, as those with an already compromised immune system are at a much higher risk of contracting COVID-19. Those people who are either um, older in age, so over 70, and then also people who don't have an intact immune system. So, and so people who have um, asthma or respiratory diseases, COPD, emphysema, things like that. With Michigan seeing its first confirmed cases this week, Dr. Ketty says those who need to address medical issues unrelated to the virus should be speaking with their doctors sooner rather than later. Because if everything else is, you know, well controlled, then hopefully there'll be less of the uh, consequences or less severity of the infection. If you're experiencing any sort of flu-like symptoms, call ahead before driving to your doctor's office. Physicians at West Michigan hospitals may be able to see you through a video service like Spectrum's Spectrum Health Now. And so from remote locations where you can actually be, you know, kind of face to face through a computer screen with a provider. If you fall into one of these more at-risk groups, there are still ways that you can better protect yourself. So wiping down, you know, surfaces, especially handles, light switches, where a lot of people are touching, wiping them down with either, you know, rubbing alcohol on a cloth or Lysol or some type of like a bleach wipe would certainly, you know, help mitigate those risks. Yeah. Because this isn't something that, you know, everybody won't respond the same way. So you may be protecting somebody else's grandparent or or, you know, a child with asthma if you stay home. Now, Dr. Ketty says if you are experiencing possible symptoms of the virus and have a reason to believe that you have come into contact with it, call your doctor before going in to request testing. They will make the proper arrangements. You don't want anyone, you don't want to put anyone else at risk. For now, live in the newsroom, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News. Information, Michael, thank you.